Hey, this is Sasha and welcome to another options video lesson. Now today, what I want to do is share with you how to set up a diagonal trade, meaning a diagonal options trade. So that way you can tweak your risk on Amazon. So we'll take a look at Amazon, how to set up a diagonal and why you may want to choose to do a diagonal. Now I like the foundation of the diagonal from uh, looking at a calendar spread. So if you're familiar with calendars, diagonals are somewhat uh, similar. Uh, of course, keep in mind, it's all based on selling premium. So when you sell premium, that's really what you're doing. So you're first selling premium. And then what you're doing is you're buying protection to hedge or reduce your risk. And when it comes to diagonals, you're buying it later out in time, just like with a calendar. And that allows you to kind of adjust your risk as you'll see here on screen. So I wanna show you how to construct one of these, uh, just so you get some ideas and how to play with them. Uh, of course, if you're interested in learning more about option trading, you might wanna take a look at one of our option courses uh, on our website at tradersfly.com or rise to learn. Otherwise, let's take a look and get started on um, one of these and uh, let's go into our trading panel here and when we look at the trading panel uh, we're going to take a look at Amazon now keep in mind this is just for educational purposes and it's not recommendations to set up this exact trade you might be watching this video sometime in the future but I just want to show you how to construct it now first let's take a look at just overall the market and you can see we've had a massive down move here uh, just even today on the SPX uh, down 100 points. So I'm not saying you you want to do this right away right now. What I'm saying is let's take a look at how to construct one and when the time is right, you can make tweaks and modifications. With that in mind, you might want to allow things to digest if you're watching this video the minute it's out or available. Anyway, when we look at Amazon, you can see we're starting to pull back and sell off. So let's say I'm looking for this to go a little further. I could say, okay, well, maybe this is gonna go down to about 1200. Let's say that's kind of my goal and thought process that let's say it topped out. I wanna be in the trade for maybe 15, 20 days. It could be 10 days, depending on your time horizon. But here's how you go ahead and set up and construct a diagonal. So let's say I go into uh, the March ones or the March, um, 18, which is 36 days out over here. So normally what you do is you construct, let's let's just go about uh, 50 of these different strikes. Let's do the 1340. What I'll typically do is let's say sell a single right here and we'll analyze the trade. And now you could see when you sell a single, you have pretty much unlimited risk when you go, when the stock goes down, right? And then what you need to do is if you go in and buy protection, let's say we go out to 71 days and we go out to the 1340, I'll go ahead and buy a single over here. And now I'll analyze this because I, I want protection. So you could see right here, it creates kind of a funky little graph that looks like this. Okay, so this would be a calendar because it's the same uh, strike price, right? So it's the same right here strike that I've chosen. So it would be considered a calendar. I could go ahead and enter this as a calendar trade together, or you could do it individually. Um, so what I'll do is let's just go ahead right here. And if we go to March, I'll go to about, let's say, um, what is it? 1320 or so Buy a calendar, analyze the trade. And we have the March 16th and the April 20th right there okay so actually it's the 1340s that we have so let's go right there there's the 1340s so there's our calendar trade and you can see it looks very similar it's just a little bit closer to the white line and that's because we're doing it as a spread so it makes it a little bit better actually so there's our calendar trade and calendar setup okay because it's the same and i could position this a little to the left okay it's not traded on the 1330 so let's go to 1320 you can see i could make it a little to the left I could go even further to the left, meaning for downside room or downside exposure. So you can see now I'm positioned where if this moves down a little bit, you know, I got a little bit of cushion room. Now, keep in mind, I'm also positive Vega. So this is a fairly bearish position because you want to keep in mind the Vega. Normally, if you're short Delta, you want to be a little short Vega. In this case, um, we're short Delta. So a neutral calendar, would be calendar you normally want to cushion a little bit more positive delta since you're short vega calendars are short vega 
you want to go ahead and cushion them usually this would be more of a neutral state right so somewhere like this would be more of a neutral calendar because now you're positive vega and you're also positive delta so I compensated by having positive delta now if I'm bearish though, well, what I want to do is I actually want to position it to, to go down, right? If I'm, if I'm bearish on the position, well, what I could do is I could go ahead and change this to custom. So instead of a calendar, I could go ahead and just shift one of these. So instead of going from 1370 and 1370, selling one and selling the exact same one, I could switch this to the 1360 and you can see how it starts to rotate it. Now I could go ahead and go the other way and this will go 1390 and you can see it shifts it the other direction. So this now is really a diagonal. So I could go to 1400 right here. I could go ahead and tilt it a little bit more. I could say, okay, well, let me go to the 1420. And now this is a diagonal. So I could go ahead and tweak this based on my risk of how much, how bearish I really want to be. Okay, so if I'm just slightly, I could go like this. I could even go, let's say, move this to the, 1360 I could start moving this over a little bit more and rotating it kind of back a little bit so you could see how this really works out a lot better when you're starting to tweak and play with the risks that you have on hand or the amount of uh, of risk you want to take on so I could go ahead and move this uh, a little bit more centered see just slightly adjustment or I could go ahead and really adjust it and tweak it, ramp it up a little more. If I'm quite bearish, I could go ahead and ramp it up even more. And you can see now my angle is even, even more so bearish because I have even positive vegas and I have negative deltas. So this is going to hurt me more on the upside because as volatility, let's say, goes down, you can see this calendar will actually start to compress. Okay, so you have to keep that in mind that keep the volatilities in play when you're doing this but otherwise what you could really do is is tweak these to your liking of how much rotation you really want to see out of this so um, you know it's just a matter of how you really want to play with it some people what they do is they'll go ahead and let's say we'll cushion ourselves at the 1400 over here and now we'll adjust this to the 1430 so just in case it actually goes against me while I'm still inside my tent. So with a few days, well, you know, you might be, let's say you drop another 40, 50 points right here. Well, you, you decay from the, from the time decay, right? And you can see today it actually dropped about 66 points. So if you expect even more so, well, you could go ahead and, and rotate this, let's say something like that, right? So now you have a greater rotation. Let's go to today. And you can see as you have that rotation, well, if it continues down all the way, well, you'll still make $310, okay? If it kind of stays where it's at or goes a little higher, you have room up till about $1450, I'd say, because remember, volatility will compress a little bit. Um, now, you're risking about $6,600 to put on this trade, $6,700, uh, to potentially make about $310. Now, you're looking for a few days of theta or profit right there. And you could, if you're kind of over here in the sweet spot, you could be around $700. Now you make the most of course is at this peak. So really if it goes up a little bit and pulls back and then you land right there, you know that you make the most right there. But otherwise this is how you kind of construct a uh, diagonal position uh, by tweaking the risk based on where you want the risk how much risk do you want you can tweak it and that's what makes diagonals one of the most flexible strategies out there it's just remarkable what you can do with them uh, by tweaking these little angles and so forth so anyways i hope you found this video helpful i truly appreciate you joining me in today's video lesson if by all means you want to see uh, more option trading videos don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button right here and get on the newsletter list because that's where I send out other uh, new videos that are released along with new courses and materials that we launch that are really detailed, including option training videos. So don't forget, sign up to the newsletter list or subscribe on YouTube, and I'll see you in the next video.